Tuesday, and today we're answering a question. I've covered it uh, in other uh, segments before, but uh, this one, I'll, I'll go ahead and give you a different viewpoint and elaborate. And the question, it's a good one. Hey, if you only had one shot, where would that be? What would you target? Just one cane shot that you would um, use to escape and get away. And before we jump into that, welcome those of you that are new to the channel. Uh, don't forget, take a moment real quick and just uh, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any future content. And those of you that follow us faithfully on a regular basis, it's always, always a pain uh, bump for you. Boy, what am I doing with this? This, this guy's retired here. Let's switch that. We're gonna need a drone anyhow. Boy, that is from back in the day, right? From the private collection. Anyhow, so listen, if you only have one shot on an assailant, there are things that come into play, but I'm, I'm gonna give you something real general. And those of you that follow me, you, you probably know what my preference there is. Uh, and you also know what I'm not that crazy about as a first shot, right? So I'm not the go to the head guy. Uh, something's brewing here and, and you go and, um, not only because headshots and and you know the the potential um, for getting in trouble doing that right, uh, but 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 more so because it can be dangerous to you as well because he really he's not a bag. You go you go to move boom he can see it coming. You go to move here he can do that. He, notice that as I do this he tends to move in to look into jam as well. So I don't like that as the first and solo move. I don't like it. Um, I tend to. Uh, prefer and, and remember always what I say if I shut down the limb I win every single time so that should tell you that I'm either going to go to hold the arms out that's what I'm looking for as a first shot and I'm also looking to go here that is just so difficult for him to stop the question is how do you do it here's another one when do you do it exactly in the altercation hmm so, are things heating up, um, and, and, and I'm never down here, but I feel that something's brewing, I may already start moving up here, or uh, uh, moving what I don't do again is do this, or anything that looks intimidating, I might be here in a reverse uh, grip. By the way, uh, you guys watch, uh, watch this is a, a drone uh, cane, so it's, you know, we don't hurt anybody, it's a padded cane. They still leave a mark. Okay, so if we were actually going to pressure test and go into an actual scenario, he'd be padded because this stuff uh, does leave a mark. Uh, but, but, but from here, listen, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. Listen, I, I have my distance. This is where I'm coming from. When do you do this? Yeah, so, so he's here. There's no extended limb. Do you just boom, move in because the conversation is getting heated? Careful. Careful. Because that's, that's how you're going to be uh, uh, tried. So... He goes to reach for something. Ah, is that when you when you move? Right? You make this initial move, right? Uh, verbal threats, name and you're right. You know, create the distance. Always, always, always. The, the ultimate self-defense with this tool or otherwise would involve zero body contact. He does come to move. He makes that first move. Look at this. This is a knife. This guy just pulled. I didn't even know who's going to do this, right? So he just he just pulled the knife from there. Now. It, it becomes, if I have one shot versus the tool, I would prefer that it go there. Why not out here? This is one of the reasons why. The only time that I would do that is if he's holding somebody up, right, that um, I have to step in for, that I'm protecting. He's holding a, a gun, he's doing something and I can do this shot that he doesn't see coming. That's the only time I would do that because it's in a life or death situation, right? Maybe an active shooter situation, right? And, and I'm just mentioning that as a, as a possibility. Um, these attacks, uh, put the knife away, same thing. He comes to push. Does it warrant this type of thing? Um, you know, or, or back up, boom, sorry about that. So you're going to the uh, elbow, right? It's an impact tool. Uh, he's coming in here first. Oh, I want to take out that shin. He doesn't see that coming. That's what I prefer and what I'm more inclined uh, to cover uh, uh, as far as anatomical targeting. Extend your limbs. Look at this. Anywhere here, here to here, here to here, or the limbs down here. That would be my first choice 
shut down that one limb, incapacitate with power shots, and get out of there, right? He pulled that knife, and uh, what about here in making contact? So, so Joe, I know you wanna turn this off. Do you go, if you're over here and you don't have the room to go into power shot mode, do you then um, go to, to the head hurt? And the answer to that one is no, I don't. Uh, he comes in here, this is, this is not good. My priority now becomes this, right? And yep, this is valid, this is valid. Uh, one of the students asked about this, this is valid. Here's what's gonna happen when he starts figuring out that he's not succeeding with this. And by the way, a lot of times, if you allow it, he will put that arm there and pull you into this, right? And, and so you're, you're doing this and you're, and you're moving back as well. Here's what's gonna happen when he figures this out. He's going to switch that and come back up, right? And he's going to now switch. So he went from here, and now, oh, I'm going to need to, to do this kind of thing, right? So my initial shot, boom, remains to do this and then create distance if possible. If for whatever reason you can't get out, yes, you're doing this. I'm going to, I'm going to suggest that you do steering wheel, for those of you that are familiar with ACSD, and you have this movement. This will deviate the shot and give you an opportunity to come back. Notice that if you do this quick enough, the, the issue with this and coming right back here is that it's not enough. He gets hit to the head, he's going to continue. If I open, now this is a power shot. This is different. Now I can take out here, now I can take it out down here. All right, so a simple movement. Those would be all applications in one shot. One shot, if I only have one. ACSD, we're not about one shot. We believe if we hit you one, we're gonna hit you a barrage of times, and the goal remains the same, to incapacitate, to get to a safe place, and nothing beyond that, all right? You're seeing this, now, does this, now you know things. Oh, you, you know, but, but there's a difference. Caning is not about knowing information. You don't know, need any more uh, information. What you need is transformation. That can only come from training. So take advantage of the free resource. Go ahead and text CCC. That stands for Kane Clarity Call. Text that to 305-745-7839, and we will jump on a call with you. Listen to you first, see where you're at, what your history is, where you wanna go with this, what is it that attracts you about the cane. People are coming for a variety of reasons today. You will walk out of there with a plan and a strategy in place that you can start implementing immediately to go where you wanna go, uh, which is your best cane, all right? Thanks for watching. Keep cane and stay safe.